Despite Russia's claim of control over the situation in the Kursk region, Moscow fears that F-16 fighter jets might be used there, the Telegraph informs. According to the news agency, the events in the Kursk region were unexpected for the Russian command. In particular, this incursion turned out to be one of the largest land attacks on mainland Russia since Putin ordered the full-scale invasion of Ukraine in February 2022. This operation was likely prepared in advance. Ukraine had moved air defense systems to the border to protect its forces. There is also concern among the Russian forces that recently acquired F-16 fighter jets might be involved in the fighting. Later, Russian President Vladimir Putin appointed Russian Deputy Prime Minister Denis Manturov as the overseer of the defense of the Kursk region. Additionally, Russian military officials reacted angrily to the Ministry of Defense's failure to secure Kursk. On August the 6th, Several media outlets began reporting that Ukrainian forces had allegedly breached the border and taken control of several settlements in the Kursk region as of August the 7th. Information about the fighting for the city of Sudza, located 9 kilometers from the border, began to spread in the media. Russia has accused Ukrainian troops of crossing the border into its Kursk region, which if confirmed marks the first incursion of its kind from Ukraine and puts pressure on Moscow in an area largely unaffected by the two-year war. The Russian Ministry of Defense, the Russian Investigative Committee and the Russian Ombudsman for Children all said Ukrainian forces had launched a massive attack attempting to break through the Russian defenses on the borders of the Kursk region, which sits just north of Ukraine's Sumy region. Russian President Vladimir Putin called the alleged incursion a large-scale provocation, saying Kyiv conducted indiscriminate shooting from various types of weapons, including missiles, at civilian buildings, residential buildings and ambulances. The extent of the attack, including whether Ukrainian troops took over any settlements or caused damage to any strategic targets, remains unclear. It is also not clear whether any Ukrainian soldiers remained on Russian territory. Вот Суджа, вот попадание, так что вот оно, хохлов нет, все пораскидано, все поразбросано, хер поймешь, все поразбито вот. Вот гончаровка. Аня, ваш дом, слава богу, цел. Все. Разворачиваю сейчас, пойду до Миши. Дальше я не поеду в сторону больницы. Здесь все целое, Аня. У тебя все нормально. Здесь тоже как бы все по-прежнему. Площадь. Все вроде бы здесь что-то вон окна. 